How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the user select CSS3 property. So here I have a HTML document open with a div and some dummy text inside it. Right now you can highlight the text like normal, hold and drag and it highlights just like that. We're going to make it so uh, you can highlight the text all at once and make it so you disable highlighting altogether. And we're going to use the user select property to do that. Let's get into the code for the uh, website here. So I have uh, just a div with some dummy text inside it with a class of content. The content class has a width of 400 pixels, a padding of 10 pixels and a simple border. Now to start off we're going to make it so you press once on the element and the entire thing gets highlighted. We can go inside the class here and just add a new CSS rule called user select. Give it a value of all. A double L. Let's now save and refresh the browser. Refresh. Now, clicking once highlights the entire body of text. And you see this effect a lot, especially when you're sharing links uh, to websites or you know stuff like that. It's very useful. It's very cool, and um, it's kind of uh, I didn't expect this to be in the actual you know CSS, but that's cool. Um, so next we're going to make it so you disable highlighting altogether. We can do this by setting the value of user select to none. We'll just type in none right here, save that, and then refresh. Now I'm holding and dragging, but it's not highlighting. You don't even get the, um, the little text uh, cursor. You cannot highlight this text. This is enforced by the browser itself. So technically, it's not fully, you know, foolproof. Like, you can highlight the text if you hack the browser or something like that. It's just a client-side restriction. Uh, it's not, it's not fully, you know, foolproof. So, this is not by any means a security measure, but you can't highlight the text uh, as the client. All right, so that is how you can use the user select CSS3 property. Thank you for watching, and see you later.